Every year, almost two million Americans get food poisoning caused by salmonella. The vast majority of cases are isolated and routine. I think people don't really understand the anatomy of an outbreak. The first few cases that come in are not even associated with an outbreak. It's not until you get a sufficient number of cases that it actually becomes apparent that there is really an outbreak going on. No problem at night. The first signs of the peanut butter salmonella outbreak began to show up in late summer 2008. So, Typically, doctors report cases of salmonella poisoning to local health departments, which in turn report them to the Centers for Disease Control. By last fall, the CDC noticed a disturbing trend. Enough of the cases were caused by the same salmonella strain, typhimurium. By the end of November, we knew that there was a, at least uh, 30 cases reported from almost as many states. They were spread all across the country. But where was the bacteria coming from? Initially, investigators thought the source might be contaminated chicken. The sick people were interviewed about all the things that they might have eaten, and uh, sometimes interviewed in very great detail as to just what they might have eaten and where. But the memories of people who become ill can be faulty, and the process delayed. Two weeks can pass between the time a person is diagnosed with salmonella poisoning and the result of a stool sample is passed on to federal officials. We did a case control study talking to ill people and well people in many states in order to find out what was different. What had the, Ill, what had the people who were sick eaten that the well people had not eaten? And the answer that came back from that study was the same as the suspicion in Minnesota. It was peanut butter. Well, actually, we didn't wait until CDC actually came up with the, the, the final, it is, it is peanut butter. The FDA acted on findings from a cluster of cases in a Minnesota nursing home, where residents were infected with the same salmonella strain and all had eaten peanut butter. The brand was King Nut. On January the 9th, the suspect King Nut peanut butter tested positive for salmonella typhimurium. At that point, the FDA became involved uh, actually going to the plant where the peanut butter was, uh, was made, mm -hmm. uh, in addition to some of the distribution points along the way, and, uh, and initiated, at that point, we, we initiated a recall. On January 10th, the company recalled it, but the investigation did not stop there. We needed to get to the source of, of where the peanut butter was actually manufactured. So we did, uh, found out that it was manufactured in a, a plant in Blakely, Georgia, uh, Peanut Corporation of America. That same day, FDA inspectors descended on the plant. They found a number of issues that warranted further scrutiny. The firm had, as part of its own testing program, identified salmonella. They had not taken appropriate steps to clean and maintain equipment. Meanwhile, investigators in Connecticut found a closed container of peanut butter from PCA that was contaminated with salmonella typhimuria. Our investigation identified the actual manufacturer of that particular product, and we initiated an inspection of that manufacturer, as well as firms that would be related as far as suppliers, to identify what the scope of the problem was, as well as how this particular manufacturer could have contributed to this outbreak. Most of what PCA makes, peanut paste, is used to make other products, such as cookies and crackers and ice cream. The FDA inspection identified the supply chain, and within hours, those customers recalled their products and had them removed from grocery store shelves. PCA had more than 300 direct customers, and those customers had hundreds of customers making dozens of products. That's an awful lot of product, that's an awful lot of notification, that's an awful lot of recall. It is an awful lot of recall, that is correct. This is going to be, uh, by the time it's done, probably one of our largest recalls in history. We put together a, an interactive recall list on our website so that as new products were subject to the recall, um, people could, uh, the consumers could, uh, could find out if any of the products in their homes were on the recall list and then they could dispose of them. In addition, the FDA told consumers what was less risky to consume. PCA did not make products used by the big peanut butter makers. So we were able to uh, state affirmatively that the name brand national peanut butter uh, that you find in jars on the supermarket shelf are, are not part of this recall and that they are safe to eat. Close collaboration between CDC and FDA has been critical 
to this outbreak? I think it's important because the FDA, our state partners, our federal partners, all have limited resources. And to the degree that we can network, work together, and leverage our resources and share information, it enhances that system. I think the, the, the public should feel very confident that FDA w is on the job and will continue to be.